Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Okay, okay, if you guys want to see how I did this flawless seamless look perfect for the fall grab your snacks and keep on watching Hey guys and welcome back to my channel for today's video. This is very special Special because today is sponsored by Ebony Line. Thank you, Ebony Line, for working with me on this collab. In this box, I have the wig right here. It's already been packaged, already delivered, and ready to go. This is the infamous Letitia hair, y'all. This is the infamous wig. You guys seen like a lot of YouTube videos about this wig. Then you guys see how people be doing like the 70s like blowout look. I think that's perfect for fall, first of all, because fall is definitely upon us. We need a little switch up for the girls for fall. And as I said before, thank you Ebony Line again for sponsoring this video. And let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so of course I'm going with my go-to Eben Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. I always use this for my ball cap methods. I basically just spray all around the perimeter of where I want my ball cap to be glued. And then I just go ahead and cut out the holes for my ears, of course. It just makes the ball cap method way more easier if you do that. And then to spread the spray around, I'm going to use the end of my rat tail comb just to make sure that it's all distributed around the perimeter of my head. And I'm drying that off real quick. And once that dries, I am taking my handy dandy scissors and I'm going ahead and cutting off all that excess bald cap. And I'm going straight into my got to be glue. And I am going ahead and putting that all over the perimeter of my ball cap just so it could be very seamless and flat and I'm drying that right on. Taking my Ruby Kisses No More Blemish Powder, I use this all the time for my ball caps. I'm literally just I'm literally just going to dab it all around the ball cap, the perimeter, and a little bit down towards like the middle of my head as well. Okay guys, so now that I am done with my ball cap method, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the wig out from the wig package. I'm so excited because I've been hearing so much about this wig, but let's see the tea, okay? I also have the wig link down below where I got the wig from and everything. All right, taking it out, taking it out. Oh my gosh, y'all, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this wig. Y'all, this wig is curly and it's real soft. Okay, it's really soft, but if you can see the texture, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a little kinky and I like that actually. I don't want something like super duper straight. Did they pre-plug this? Hold on, let me just let me just see real quick. Um, hold on, let me just see. I don't know. Okay, so I, so this is the hairline. It looks pre-plugged. It looks really nice, actually. I don't know if I should like go in and do some more plucking just in case if I want to do like a side part or a middle part. This looks really, really good. I think I might just go in a little bit and do a little plucking, and then I'm gonna come back and we could put on the wig. All right, guys. So I just came back from plucking. This is how the hairline is kind of looking now. Um, one thing about this wig, it's very easy to pluck the hairline. Like, it's super duper easy to pluck the hairline. Usually when I get synthetic wigs, it's really hard to pluck the hairlines because of how big the knots are. But the knots on this around the perimeter is basically like invisible. So it's very easy to pluck. That's one thing that I will say about this wig. Now let's go ahead and put this on. They do have three um, little claws on the back and on the sides. Two on the sides, one on the back. So three in total clips for this wig. And they have an adjustable strap, of course, just like my other synthetic wig. So I'm gonna take it out. I'm getting hungry, snap. Uh, I think first I should probably just tint the lace just before I go ahead and put it on. So I'm gonna take my, my Ruby Kisses No More Blemish powder and just dab it all up in the lace. Okay, so I just tinted the lace. We're gonna go ahead and put it on and let's see what the wig is actually giving. Okay, Woo. 
but this could definitely pass as glueless i don't even think i need to do like glue for real so we have the wig on now this is how it looks if you see me looking here i have a mirror right here so all right so this is definitely giving hd frontal hz my freaking frontal okay this is cute this hairline this hairline is natural super cute i'm really happy that i plucked it actually i don't know what swiss lace this is but this is definitely giving hd i'm not gonna lie like i don't think i've ever worked with a swiss lace that's actually this like transparent super natural whoa this is actually crazy this is very lightweight for sure just a lightweight wig it's not heavy at all um uh, because i know the wig could get very big but it's not heavy it's very lightweight so i think what i'm gonna do now is i'm actually just gonna go ahead glue this wig down and then after that we could go into styling this wig i'm super duper excited for styling this wig but let's go ahead and first glue it all right so first things first don't mind the makeup powder that is literally ascending from the lace but we are going ahead and cutting out the ear tabs just so our ears don't look deformed, okay? When we glue it down because sometimes I do have that problem. So I always make sure that I properly cut out the ear tabs perfect for my ears. And y'all, I was just I was just in shock on how well this lace was. Like are you kidding me? It was crazy. But going back again with my got to be glue I am putting that all over the perimeter of my head just exactly where I want the lace to actually lay down you know what I'm saying so I'm taking as much or as little as I need obviously it's your preference how much glue you would like to put on whatever amount of glue that you have on is the route is the right amount for you um, depending on how long you want your wig to last of course Going back with my even spray, I am going to be spraying that right on top of where I placed the glue to be. And usually I'm doing this new trick. I haven't done this before, but I'm doing this new trick where I put the spray before I actually lay my, my lace down on my head. So I don't know. I kind of just seen this on TikTok and I was like, hey, why not? Let's just see how it goes. And I actually ended up really, really liking it. Um, so I think I might just end up doing it more often or just doing it from now on, you know? Obviously, right now I am just drying out the glue and everything, making sure that everything is good. And finally, after I feel like it's all good, I am placing the lace exactly where i want it to lay this is very important because once you lay that lays down on that glue it's not gonna go anywhere so make sure it's exactly where you want it but obviously i am drying it out and i've also seen this other trick where you kind of like comb your lace or like comb the perimeter of the wig and this like flattens down everything and I haven't done this before but yo I'm definitely gonna be doing this again because look at the look at the lace I have been working with Swiss lace before but this is by far like the best Swiss lace I've ever like had for a wig so yeah but now I'm just going ahead and I'm putting my silk band on of course just so the lace could melt okay so obviously you guys see that i am melting the lace with um my silk band my infamous silk band but i'm gonna take it out now and we're just gonna see like what we can do okay i'm gonna go ahead and just try to do a simple middle part first and just see where that takes me you know and most likely i will do like the 70s look because i feel like 
I've been doing a lot of like hairstyles and everything, but I do want to switch it up. Like I haven't done the 70s hair. So I went to the beauty supply store not too long ago, literally like yesterday. And I seen on TikTok there was this one edge control that people were like kind of raving about. I think it's called Kanaz or Kaniz. Um Kaniz. I think Kaniz. So I'm gonna use that for for this wig <laughs> and we're just gonna see like what the vibe is you know this is my first wax stick i've never used a wax stick before for like anything so we're just gonna i don't know if this works on synthetic wigs or like just wigs in general because like all the reviews that i've seen from this is like with natural hair maybe it will i hope so okay this is kind of cute. Wait. Y'all see that shine? That's kind of cute. This is a vibe though. And we're going to take off this silk band and continue styling. All right. And going straight into taking off my silk band, y'all. Look at the lace. It's not even lace. At this point, it's scalp. It's growing right out from my roots. Y'all. Like, look how shocked I looked. I was like, this is no longer lace. This is my skin. Period. <laughs> but anyways, taking my handy dandy razor, I'm going ahead and just cutting all the excess lace that I obviously clearly do not need all around the perimeter of the wig. And you see that white line? that kind of created right there don't worry because we're gonna go ahead and take our e-ball spray and watch that thing just melt you just you know just kind of just a little bit a little dab dab and watch it melt away it's a bye bye period i'm going to get my brush my handy dandy brush and we're gonna try the 70s flip like the little you know what i'm saying Oh, this is cute. Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna cut it a little bit. I'm gonna cut like right here. Yep, we're doing it. <gasps> Huge difference. Don't freaking lie. I think I'm definitely gonna like go in and do some more cutting, but. Okay, so I kind of wanted to step in real quick just so you guys could see like you guys see how I have some excess glue around the lace. There's an easy fix for that. I just take my alcohol wipe and I just go ahead and just kind of dab it and wipe it around the lace. I've seen so many people do the bang. I don't really know how to do that and I'm not trying to like mess this up. But what I am going to do is try to do some like layers. I'm going to do some layers and go from like the chin down. So kind of like this. <gasps> okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. Get the freak. Are you serious? The secret to this wig is literally layers. So I'm just going to do the same thing to this side. Snap, 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 snap. And I'm just kind of, I'm kind of like making my, my brush act as like a curler almost. And I'm turning it away from my face like this. This is such like a blowout look. Wow, oh my gosh. <gasps> Holy. Okay, so I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do that like shaking thing that where people like shake. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't wanna mess it up. <gasps> this, this moment right here. Let's see if we can imitate that. We definitely can. And we definitely just did. Kind of like sticking it up a little bit. I might need to get this wax stick and like go in on it right here. Yeah, like right there. Yikes. 
this is the final result of my hair y'all i absolutely love it thank you again ebony line for collabing with me on this video and giving me this wonderful wig um this are you kidding me let's let's really get into it and thank you guys so much for watching go ahead like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye